we're going to take a look at a linear regression in Excel and we're going to answer this question. For the Mariners roster, can we use a player's height to predict their weight? The very first thing that I want you to do is to get the analysis tool pack if you don't already have it. To do that, we're going to go over here to the file menu and then all the way down to options and you are looking for add-ins. So let's go ahead and click on add-ins. And then we want that analysis tool pack. Now we're managing our add-ins here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on go next to manage our add-ins. And we wanna make sure that the analysis tool pack is checked so that it shows up as active in our Excel worksheet. I'll go ahead and click okay. And now it is part of your Excel and we're ready to do our analysis. So let's go ahead and start our linear regression. I'm gonna go into the data tab and then now under analysis over here on the right hand side, I've got data analysis. Go ahead and click on that. There's gonna to be tons of options here, but we're gonna scroll down until we land on regression and then go ahead and click okay. And it's gonna ask us for our Y range and our X range. Let me move this out of the way so I can go ahead and highlight my X and my Y. Now my Y's are the ones that I am predicting and I wanna know if I can predict their weight based on their height. So my Y values are going to be this very last column, which is weight. I'm gonna grab the label as well. So I'm just clicking, dragging, through that data and then I'm gonna let go. And then for the X range, I'm gonna do the same exact thing all the way up to that label. And then I'm gonna click, hold and drag through my data and then let go. Okay, now I did choose labels. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on labels here. You can change this confidence interval if you want. I'm gonna leave that because we're gonna be using a p-value and r, our correlation coefficient. You can also set the constant to be zero. This would mean that your linear regression line would start at the origin. We don't want that. And for the most part, we don't want that for linear regressions. Now you can choose your output range. I'm gonna go ahead and put my output range in this um, workbook, but I just wanna put it in a different worksheet. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new worksheet and I'm gonna put my title right here and I'm gonna call that regression. And then you can click on as many of these as you want. I really, really want that line fit plot so that I can get my scatter plot and I can put the best fit line or regression line in there as well. Now I've got everything that I want. I'm gonna go ahead and click on OK and it's gonna bring up all of this great information into, and you can see it's put it in this other sheet called regression. I wanna go ahead and focus on what we've got over here on the left-hand side. Now we don't need all of this, but definitely I've got my multiple R and my R square. This multiple R is my correlation coefficients. R. We want that to be either close to negative one for a strong negative or close to positive one for a strong positive. And it looks like we're kind of somewhere in the middle. We also have our R squared value, um, adjusted R standard. We don't need any of these other values here. So I'm gonna go ahead and focus on the correlation coefficient. When I move down here into the ANOVA information, I do get this value, which is actually really helpful. It's under significance F, but for my regression test, this is actually my p-value. And you'll notice that the same exact p-value shows up over here under p-value for height. So we've got a fairly large p-value, especially if we were testing at say the 0.05 significance level. Okay, and then finally, um, the other really important pieces of information here are my intercept and the coefficient under height in inches is my slope. So from these numbers, I can put together the equation of that regression line and it would be y is equal to 2.8375x minus 9.575. Let's take a look at the plot that it gave me next. I've got my plot here. Let me go ahead and make this one bigger. It gives me for each data pair, the predicted value. Um, but what I really want here is the regression line. So I wanna get rid of these orange dots, which are my predicted weights. I'm gonna click on any one of those orange dots. You can see now several of those are highlighted and I'm gonna hit delete 
and they are gone. I want to put my regression line in here. Now I've clicked on this so that that plus sign shows up in the upper right hand corner. Let's go ahead and click on that plus sign and add our trend line. So I'm going to add my trend line. There it is. I would love the equation and correlation coefficient. So to do that, I'm going to double click on our line over here on the right hand side, we get some really great format options. As I scroll down, we are looking for display equation on chart. And I want to display it only gives you the option for that R squared value on the chart. Let me just move this a little bit so you can see it's exactly the regression equation that we got from the results in our table. I hope this is really helpful. Take a look at my next video here to learn more about stats and Excel. You guys are doing fantastic.